So the FBI is sounding the alarm now about a $9 billion business email scam. Yeah, this is a crime devastating families and ravaging small businesses. I-Team investigator Jackie Calloway found losses have hit record highs. It has been probably the hardest thing that I've gone through in my life. A nightmare in Polk County. The Henkel family lost nearly 50 grand to what the FBI calls the costliest internet crime in the country. It's known as the business email compromise. How big of a fraud is this? It is the top fraud that we see, receive in the number of complaints. It's the top fraud that we see in terms of the dollar value that occurs. Between 2016 and 2021, more than 59,000 Americans lost over $9 billion to BEC. And I didn't sleep for weeks after that, Jackie. Didn't sleep for weeks. Here's how it works. Criminals hack a legitimate business email account. Then the attacker clones the email. Next, they use the fake email to target individuals who would normally transfer funds to the legitimate business. The most common BEC con involves real estate transactions. It, it literally felt like someone had like snatched like my lungs out. Like I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. Brendan Henkel says he was in the process of closing on this home when a hacker impersonated the title company and through an email tricked Brendan into wiring the criminal $49,000. I felt so foolish, so stupid. And it's not just home buyers. Former IT worker Jeff Scherer lost 35 grand after an attacker impersonated his antivirus software service. The FBI now fighting back. Tonight, we'll show you the agency giving us an exclusive look at a new team whose sole mission is to claw back millions of dollars in stolen funds and return it to rightful victims here in Florida. I'm my team investigator Jackie Calloway taking action for you.